money in your pocket. You will pay to find that out? Oh. Use it or throw it away. You got ice cold water running through your veins. I don't need to say anything. I swear to God, Raylan, I didn't know he was coming. I believe you. Whoa. No shotguns allowed in this dining room. Toss it outside. Come on. Ava, why don't you go in the kitchen? Maybe watch some TV or something? Go on. Well, come on in. Come on in, sit down, help yourself. Raylan. The uh, gravy ain't bad. I mean, it ain't like your mama used to make it, but it never is, is it? Let me ask you something. When you shot that gun thug in Miami, was there food on the table like this? There was. Well, have something. Have a little chicken. And you, uh, well, you had your gun. What kind was it? That time, SIG 226. And where was it? Was it on the table where mine is? It was holstered. Bullshit. It was holstered. Well, where was his? Under the table. And what did he have? What kind of piece I mean? I don't recall. Well, how did you know when to pull? He went first. And you gave this gun thug 24 hours to get out of town. Now, was the time up when you, when you shot him? Pretty close. Well, how much time do you think you got left? I thought I had till noon tomorrow. Well, what if I said it was right now? I mean, unless, of course, you want to finish that chicken leg. Well, I mean, you can call it off. <laughs> I, mean, I don't mind. Well, if you're going to keep after me, Raylan, I figure we may as well just get her done. Your four to five's on the table. I have to pull. Is that how we do it? Well, I appreciate that, Raylan. Yes, I do believe it is my call. What are you packing? You'll pay to find that out. Oh. You got ice cold water running through your veins. Well, should we just do us a shot of Jim Bean? Just for old time's sake. Ava, get us a shot of Jim. You want to know what Bowman said when he looked up and he saw me with his deer rifle? Goddamn, woman, you only shoot people when they're eating supper. He had his mouth full of sweet potato. He said, the hell are you doing with that? Ava, put the gun down, please. You want to know what I said? I said, I'm gonna shoot you, dummy. Travis Travers, just the man I wanted to see. Yeah, Curtis mentioned you might be stopping by. Yeah, do you mind if I come in? I got some papers I need you to sign. Yeah, come on in. You don't have time, you don't have time. Can you get a gun? Wow, that seemed like more than five grand. Oh, uh, that's because it's 20. Where'd you get five, Curtis? You don't think he's trying to hold out on you, do you? You know what? Why don't we go ask him? I think he's out back. Mm -hmm. OK. Well, I can't wait to see the look on his face. I am so disappointed in him. Oh. 
Shots fired. 9922 Takes Creek Road. Plain clothes officer on site. Requesting backup. Are you okay? Are you okay? Yeah. Maybe things would be different now if we had. Well, I guess that ain't our way. You should get married again. Not living like this. <clears throat> What's going on, Arlo? Keep checking your watch. Just wondered how long I've been a prisoner here. <laughs> that all, huh? That's it. <laughs> We never have much in common, you and me, but that doesn't mean I don't have regrets. Put the gun down. When are they coming? They're waiting outside. How long you known? Well, Harlo, in truth, I think I've always known. This isn't something I wanted to do, son. No. But don't call me that. What's the plan? For me to shoot you in the leg. Bo wants to take your life. <laughs> Then what happens? Where is he? Drop your guns, fellas. This is Deputy Marshal Raylan Givens. I'm gonna need an ambulance and a coroner. It's a good 45 from here, but I figure you'll be all right if you leave in the next two minutes. Well, correct me if I'm wrong, my friend, but you gave me until 2.15, right? Yeah. Now you got two minutes. <sighs> you know, I, I, I've been coming here ever since I was a kid. Ever since this was nothing but old Jews and old Cubans. And to tell you the truth, I love it here. I really do. I love it then and I love it now. So I'm not going to leave. So have a meal with me. Okay, you hungry? I'm, I swear, you pass up. These are the best crab cakes in town, I swear to God. Much better than that crap we were eating in Managua, remember that? I don't know if that was Mexican, Puerto Rican, I don't know what it was, but it was crap, remember? I hated it. I didn't mind it. I had some pork dish I quite liked. One minute. Well, a second ago, you said two minutes. What, what's going on here? Time flies, huh? <laughs> you, you're a character. I was telling my friends this morning how yesterday you come to me and you don't get out of town in 24 hours, I'm gonna shoot you on sight. Come on, what is that? They thought it was a joke, they started laughing. 
You tell him about the man you killed, the way you did it. Because I found nothing funny in that. You may should have killed you, huh? Maybe I made a mistake. Well, we all have regrets. Cut me a little slack here, OK? Does nothing count? Got to let you live? No. I'm giving you the same consideration right now. You can get up and go. 30 seconds. So what are you going to do? In front of all these people, you're going to pull out a gun, and you're going to shoot an unarmed man? You're unarmed, huh? Hey, you got eyes. You see a piece on me? 20 seconds. OK. 10. You know what? Seriously, you come and you interrupt my meal, you won't eat with me. This is bullshit. This is supreme bullshit. Found the car. Guess the old man trusted you. How far ahead of you are they? No, oh, still hot. It can't be more than a few minutes. What do you need? Well, you better send a chopper here as fast as you can. In an ambulance. Hey, Marshal. Right there is good. Frank, you don't have to listen to him. You know what? I changed my mind. I'm going to take you first. Frank, don't listen to him. We just want to talk to you, Marshal, see if we can work something out. Can't see as we got anything to talk about, but if you want to say something, you can say it from right there. Can I come a little closer so we're not shouting like a couple of drunken hobos? I can hear you. Well, is it OK if I come a little? A little closer? Is that OK? You take one more step, I'll shoot you. That's all I'm going to say. Marshal, I want to tell you something important. <laughs> Use it or throw it away. Sit here a sec, catch my breath. Got an ambulance on the way. Oh, that'll be nice. I warned you. Twice. Oh, I guess I'm one of those guys who don't believe you when you tell them the stove's hot. I have to touch it. Might get me in trouble one day. <laughs> sure it did rough me up here, Marshal. But I think we still might get the decision. See? All the way here, we're talking to a guy in Mexico, so if Raleigh's not already dead, he will be soon. I think we can call this a drop. 